first of all, congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. Um, after you made Eye in the Sky, which is an important movie for many other reasons, were you seeking out something else like this that had it, or was it just the way the cards felt that this just came onto your came onto your schedule, if you like? It's such a great question. I mean, the way it happened was that my producer on Eye in the Sky, Jed Doherty, called me up after we'd done Eye in the Sky and said, have you ever heard of Catherine's gun? And I had an embarrassed moment because it sounded like I should have, and I said, no, he said, just Google her and call me back. So that's how this one started. But I think, um, I think, I had such a good experience making Eye in the Sky. I loved doing the research. I loved, you know, talking to drone pilots and intelligence officers. So I kind of entered that world. And this was another opportunity to really enjoy the process of developing the script and making the movie. Um, not just because you're making a movie, but also because the subject matter is interesting and I'm going to learn something. So selfishly, it was really interesting to meet with Catherine Gunn as a spy and learn something about her world and then the journalists at The Observer and these really committed journalists like Martin Bright, Peter Beaumont, Ed Williami, who do this kind of deep investigative journalism in an age of fake news where it, these guys are precious, I think. We, 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 we're in such a fast news cycle. Mm. But actually, sometimes we need folks to dig deep. So it, it was a great experience to work with those kinds of people. And I just spoke to, to Catherine next door, and she was mm. saying about how sometimes with a news story, people it doesn't penetrate the same way as sometimes a, a film can do with such a strong thing. Was that something for you that, in, in, a, in a context of a, of a movie, you can kind of make sure people understand a bit more than maybe they would if they just, as you say, just flicked through a, a news story? That's a brilliant question. I think what I love about drama and film, I mean, I have this weird background. I grew up as a young person doing a lot of theatre. My parents had been in the theatre. I wanted to just be in the theatre. And my dad said, you know, no, 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 take your big mouth and go and study law. Theatre's too risky. So I have this law degree and I have this theatre background. And so, but for me, the opportunity to tell a story and get to know a character and at the same time be um, learning something about world events, we as human beings engage on two levels, don't we? We engage intellectually, but we also engage emotionally. And the beautiful thing about movies is they allow you to do both. Um, it, it's, a, it's a very visceral, emotional experience watching characters going through emotions on screen. And I think in this film, Kira Knightley does an amazing job of finding those quiet, intimate, conflicted moments um, that Catherine Gunn went through in deciding whether or not to leak the memo. So I just feel very lucky to be able to work both with actors and with interesting people like these journalists in a film like this. Yeah, I guess that also makes it more important in terms of your filmmaking to make sure that you're telling a story that's important, but also giving it because it has this kind of thriller aspect, but also making sure that that doesn't get in the way of, of the truth, if you like. It's a very, it was a very interesting balance on this movie because, you know, there's a temptation to kind of get kind of tricksier and be more you know, low angles and moody. And the more you go there, the more you feel that as a director, you're going to be seen to be doing that. So I was like, let's back off. This story is really about these performances, especially Kira's performance. Um, and my job is not to try and intrude with my craft too much. My craft here is to create a space and environment where that close-up on that actress allows us as an audience to look into those eyes and see those cogs turning, sometimes in shots that last many, many seconds, 10, 15 seconds, deciding whether she's going to confess, hoping I'm not giving the movie away, but the, these moments where, where, where Kira delivers so well in this non-verbal way. And that's what film allows you to do, get in close on that close-up. But if, if you're kind of too off angle and the actors are, let, you can miss that nuanced performance. So I hope I was in service of, of, of good performances and not trying to put too many frills on this because in some ways it detracts from the fact that this really happened. There's a slow burn to this mm. that perhaps we're not used to. We're used to much more booms and bangs and flashes in movies. Um, but there's something very intimate about what happened to this young woman and her decision to leak this memo. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!